this David Foster Wallace where you're as simple. Together in one volume, the selection of the most celebrated, most enjoyable, funniest, and most remarkable work by this always remarkable writer. There you go. Oh, okay. To celebrate. It's the greatest hits collection. Huh? It's a joke. Not gonna work. They said this would work. I don't know. I've never used one. I grew up on Wi-Fi. Starbucks, like we're going to visit Danny at work, and then like get a shot of the Starbucks sign, and then the next shot is Danny at work, and everyone will think he works at Starbucks. Past the camera store, I need to buy 15 volt batteries. Okay.
I ran all the way here. <laughs> How are you doing that? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Graham, for getting us all down. Yeah, great idea. It was awesome when you invited me last week. Fuck 2016. This is this is one of the this is one of the best videos ever. Not a New Year's celebration, so you've had one of Hot Mama's hot pickles. Hot and spicy pickles bagged for your convenience and um more. More. Well um more. You can buy them at five below. You can buy them at five below. <laughs> Eat that pickle! Three, Three, two, two, baby! One! Did you see that? He just ate yeah, a no, fucking no. pickle. Hey, Greekers. Beef. You ever met David Lynch? Yeah, Never met David Lynch? Yeah, I assume he's a pretty nice guy. You have any questions you want to ask him? Just so sad. What's the deal with the red guy? What would you do if you were me? I changed mine to that. Have you ever had a clove? No. They're not too good. If I had one question for David Lynch, I would say, Dave. How do you get your hair like that? To do Whoa, that thing you got. You got to do it, man. Twin Peaks, who cares? Blue Velvet, who cares? Mahalan Drive, who cares? I want to know how he gets his hair. <laughs> um, what was his worst nightmare? Give all that. Somebody move! What? what is
That is awesome! That is so fucking cool! The room was full of creepers. Looking around, I felt nothing but gratitude for the support I've received from some incredibly compassionate people. The last couple months of 2016 were difficult, and would probably continue being so if it wasn't for these vlogs. As I've said in the past, this started as a condescension, a parody but it became an extremely enriching creative project, hopefully for everyone involved. It's something I'll continue doing in some capacity for the rest of my life. The extra push from the fact that I know you are watching is added to the challenge. And as much as I would like to pretend otherwise, no way I'd be doing this if no one was watching. The night continued this way till around 2 a.m. I missed the countdown, but it happened sometime in here. After that, we went back to Joe's apartment and stayed up till just before sunrise. It was then that I finally put the camera down and relearned how to enjoy life without documenting it. Enjoy your lives, and we'll reconvene sometime this year. Until then, I remain in the deep end, swimming upward towards the glow. We've only just begun. We've only just begun.